Hello and welcome to episode 42 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 as the Roman Empire. In the last episode we conquered Serbia. We also conquered the Vionois, not Vienna. Why do you call this Vienna for? Vienna is in this area. Vionois. Sounds almost like Vienna in, a, in some ways. Uh, in this episode we're going to do something differently, or not really. We're going to con keep on conquering anyone we can. He is not. He is a sinner, and he is in debt. He is a sadistic adulterer, who is also zealous and humble, and an intrigue guy. It doesn't all stick together that much. What should we go for? We already have the holy sites of Mecca and Medina, right? Is there something else we want to go for? In this area, I think. We can look at development. Those are highly developed. Africa is terrible. As is this place. Persia is quite good. As is India. India is amazing. I would like to go for India. France is okay. Germany is okay. The rest here is terrible. So we want to keep in the well developed areas for now. I do think. I want to take East Africa just because of historical reasons and Iberia. And then I think I want to conquer Persia back from the Arabians. But that's going to go through by holy wars and I would need my piety right now. It doesn't really matter, right? You're already going on your progress. It doesn't change. So I could still holy war them. The Duchy of Aleppo. He's a Catholic French guy. And he's at war and he hates me. Because I usurped his kingdom. Paul Mira. How big is that? It's actually three holdings. Something else I could. I could attack those guys. That's quite a big country. Quite powerful. I think Casaria is quite terrible when it comes to development. Yeah, those are useless holdings. It looks nice on the map though. And I want to say, didn't I want to say my kingdom casts belly for Hungary or Hungary? But that's terrible. The day shouldn't. There used to be gold there. I don't know if there's gold there in the modern age, but it used to be. Valachia. The home of C Count Dracula or Vlad the Impaler. Which was his Vlad was his real name. The Impaler was his uh, was his nickname really. Canem. Who would I want to conquer? I want to go for Holy War. Like Holy War for Kingdom title somewhere. I want to take a good one. I could take Persia. We might do that. He's not the Caliph. Where is the Caliph now? He's not he's not anywhere here. They're only emirs. Where is the bloody Caliph? I have no idea where the Caliph is. I'm going to look at that in a moment. I, I, or do I even care? I don't. But I do think we should go for Persia. Or the Muv Muvaradid Emirate. He's a Sultan. Because that's a kingdom. Declare war for kingdom. That's terrible. I didn't think about that. And that's the only kingdom title he holds. That's terrible. That's that's a duchy. Okay, I need to change my... I need to attack someone else. I could go for those two. Balaton or Hungary. What's, what's, what sort of kingdoms are here? Bavaria and Hungary. I could attack this person for Hungary or Valachia. I could go for this kingdom, I guess. Kauskikus against Alania. That's it's not worth it. That's like it's only a duchy. Hmm. Religion. We have some Lollards. We have some Sunni people. We could go into Africa. I do. I guess. 
What's happening here? What's that? Is that the heresy? Okay. What's the difference? Okay. A lot of people. Why can't I hold over you? It's because you're unreformed. It might be that. He's really big though. Should we go into Africa? We could go into Africa. The Romans never went into Africa though. The, they went on some expeditions, but they never, co they never conquered this part of Africa. They traded with those people, historically. Of course. Um, I want to hold over someone. That's the thing. I want to. We could do this guy. I would like to go. The thing is, I would like to go for Hungary. So I would like to be bordering Hungary before I do that. So if we attack this guy first. I can't do that. Probably for a duchy then. Something that borders Hungary, a good one. Three counties, that's bigger. Yeah, sure. And I don't think that changes this, right? We're, st we're at 1500. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. Of course. It's me being stupid. I should know about that. His rally point is already here. His capital is here, but we want to go for the war goal. That's the, the thing. Race everyone. We don't need everyone because they they're weak. It's really like kicking on someone that's already laying down. It's almost like cheating. We are too powerful for anyone in this game. In all honesty. So it's not like we're going to lose. We all need to gang up together, otherwise I'm never going to lose. You should go here. You should go there. That's going to be kind of bad for you when it comes to... That's me. Why am I commanding troops? That's never happened before. Or has it? It might have. I guess. But that's fun, I guess. The Emperor leading the troops into war like he used to. Didn't really used to, maybe, but he has done before. All dependent on which emperor. Okay, so he's trying to kill my. He's the person trying to kill him. Does he like me? He does. He's going to lose opinion of me. I. I, I trust him. I don't care. Okay, so my patriarch died. Is the new one better? He is. It's much better. I like that. They had about 3k troops. I saw them. They marching in this area. There they are. Why are you hiding in Hungary? That doesn't make sense. So I'm doing all of this to prepare for my invasion of Hungary. Which means we're going to border Poland. Which sounds fun. I guess. I swayed her. He might try and swipe those guys. If we are not careful enough. We just have to wait and see. To be honest, I'm not really sure what he's doing. I'm not that sure. Yeah, he's probably trying to swipe him. You should probably go here. If he goes here... No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. You go here, instead. You're going to be supplemented by those guys. If he tries to kill those guys, those guys are going to come in and reinforce. Which means they won't die. Now he's probably going for those guys here instead. But they are done with their siege, it doesn't matter. Go here. 
Oh, wait, wait. Let's see what they do first. You should go back there. They might try and siege something back. He's not going to dare do anything right now because those guys are there. When it comes to those guys. They are my Omegas. I would like them to siege down stuff. A meal to die for. I'm trying to kill this guy, right? Yeah, I am. I killed him and no one knows why. And he was my rival, so I like that. I even gained prestige from killing my rival. And I lose a hundred stress. That's that's kinda good I guess. And you you don't have the Oh my goodness, so you can move there. You move here. I try and stitch down stuff. They won't dare attack him. Nobody won't. Of course they won't because they're they're fearful of me. I'm too powerful for anyone on this map. As I said before. It's almost like cheating. Especially starting as the Byzantines, that's almost like cheating. Because the Byzantines are just too overpowered in any sense of the word. The two hour two OP. That's my cataphracts. I would like to see how good they are in combat. Because in CK2 they are incredible. I do remember them as being You should be done very soon. Good good. Where is the next place to siege down? That place probably. Move onwards. I would like to kill him off, that's the thing. Move here. I want to kill him. I don't want to have to watch his uh, army. You. He's, he's getting stuck here. Oh, bloody hell. I have to walk around. I didn't think about that. I didn't know about it. So something was built. Awesome. And now... He's a better commander. He should attack first. And then you as well. Reinforce. I think he's going to get there first actually. Yeah, he did. I screwed that up. It was quite straightforward. You should keep on sieging as well. And I gained a new perk. So he's going to finish this battle first, then I'm going to take it. Someone died, count, no thyself. I'm going to know when I'm going to die. That's a good thing to know. I do think. You move here, that other person stays here, which is me. And siege is down that place. And you should move here as well. The short way. You siege that down. Which means you need to move closer. I do have siege guys, so I should probably use them. Instead of myself, I should use someone that is good at sieges and not kill myself. Use it. I swayed her again and now she likes me. Very good. Stay there. That should be okay. A vassal were captured. Not really that important. Four months 
eight months. Are there any more guys good at sieges? I do think there is a one. There are. So that's the army. They have a lot. Of, he has, actually has a lot of men at arms. They are depleted because of the battle. That didn't really do much. It didn't do much at all, actually. We're still making money. I like that. I do like making money. Yeah, it's going for the weak guy. That guy. That's the only one he probably could beat in a fight. Instead he's trying to siege that back instead. I'm probably going to win this. Okay, so... This is a bit of cat and mouse. When these guys are done, I might use them to kill off that person. That person's army. Together with those guys. With those ones. Just a few more days. Probably done quite soon. Just a few more sieges and we... Only one more siege and we're going to win this. So if we win that siege, she died. Does her son like me? No. Should I sway him? Yes. He's actually a good spy master guy. Two months and then I'm going to win the war. The bailey was constructed in Rome. He likes me. Because my chancellor is good enough. Awesome. I do like that. I do like that. I did promise last episode I would go on like Caesar and conquer Gaul, but it's hard to do that while we're at we have a truce with the guy. In Gaul. So instead of going for Caesar route, we're going for like the Trajan route and take, conquering Dacia, although not really Dacia, next to Dacia, I guess, instead. West France is really weak. So that's ours now. I got it directly, myself. This is obviously a duchy. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, he's, he's good enough. Is too old. You should be the one. And you. I'm just giving out those free titles to anyone who wants one. Being a Greek guy inside my empire is almost a recipe for becoming a duke. Or a count at least. Usurp it. I gain prestige. He hates me and I lose some money. Not a big problem. And I'm going to give it to you. Grant the Duchy of Somogi. And this is all preparing for, I don't want the money, attacking Hungary. But do I want the money? Does he hate me? He likes me well enough, I guess. It's a lot of gold. I could use it. Yeah, sure. A scheme. Someone is trying. Why does everyone hate this guy? Except the fact that he's naked. He's a drunk as well. He's an Adamite. Do I care about this guy? Is this a guest? I just got to expose him. It doesn't really matter. No. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, we should. Holy War for Hungary. Because why the hell not oh we should raise from the city of god okay that name was really weird that seems like something went we wrong in the files 
holy war for Hungary. So he has 6k. All of those are. He has 3k, and this person has 2k. So I'm probably going to need a lot of troops to possibly win this war. Which is a good thing, actually, than got the money from the Patriarch, because I'm going to need it. I do guess. Because they're going to have about 10k troops. At least. Up until the point where I'm... Yeah, that, that that's okay. I'm not going to lose that money. And then it's time to split up a bit. In slightly smaller stacks. And go on a siege route. That's a barony already being sieged down by someone. Uh, you should probably actually stay out. I don't want to lose those guys to attrition, that's the thing. Bloody hell, this is extremely difficult. Go here, and you there, as well as you. Go back home. Let's siege down Hungary bit by bit. I don't want to go too far into their country and lose my guys to attrition. I'm making money again. He... That's really good. He became Greek. The Venetian guy became Greek. They have 5k troops. Hopefully the Paulicians won't join in. If they won't, this is going to be extremely easy. Actually. Six months, eight months. Okay, so she's sure to follow me, this 31 year old with a scarred hand. Okay. I could make him a lover. She tries to seduce me. Uh, I just have a lay with her then. I do guess. In my shavers. Shem chambers. I slept with her. The pious man slept with her. That probably shouldn't be a good thing if it went out. Living healthy. That's very good. Five years. That's going to offset a lot of the bad boost I got. They are going away quite soon though. This is going to take a long time. Six months. I would like this to happen quite quickly. Where are my siege leaders? My empire for him. Thank you. They are probably here. Somewhere. Yes, they are. You shouldn't be there. It's the bad one. That guy. And... Change it up a bit. You. To slightly speed it up a bit. So this might happen more quickly. No one is joining in. And they are... He's already fighting in two wars. Okay. I might take those over if I win this one. So that's not a problem for me. I like that. His, his attention is split up. He's a, a swollen belly. She is actually pregnant. How nice of her to become pregnant like that. No, it's not. But as long as no one finds out. I wouldn't like the same thing that happened to my previous character to happen again with all of the devotion loss. I would like this person to be the one to mend the schism, if possible. No, yeah, no one is joining him, and I'm much stronger than he is. We have a new faction created. How's the factions looking? The Liberty faction is actually quite powerful. Why is that? Which are the people inside this? Africa, the new guy. Corsica, Sardinia. 
could be my chancellor, I do guess. But that's not enough. Offensive war. I need to stop going on the fence all the time. Is there a new one? No, he's a Pannonia. The guy that's Catholic. Well, he used to be Catholic. I made him convert. And now he doesn't like me anymore. Because of the offensive wars. I captured his son and heir. Very good. That might speed this up slightly. Oh, because I took his capital. That's why. You need to move on forwards so I can win this war as quickly as possible. So I can start getting that off defensive, offensive war bonus to go down before I get another civil war on my hands. I would like that to happen. It's, it's terrible when those things happen. I hate the civil wars. In all honesty, I hate them. They're, they're, they're messy. And not the football player. There is mess, a big mess. There we go. Yeah, I know. This is the only time I can do this. I seize the entirety of Hungary. And I got a new war. Against. Someone. This person. Over a duchy. This one. Which means I'm going to take my troops, which is which are already here. You might stick together. Which one is the war leader? This person. That's the army of them. You go here. Bloody hell, I took over the entirety. I got 34 holdings. I need to give all of this away. I'm just going to cut the recording while I do that, guys. Okay, here we go. I have given out a lot of all of the counties. I created almost all of the duchies. I have created this one. I haven't just I haven't created all of those duchies. They're really big ones, and this. But I can't give this out yet because the uh, it's under siege. So I need to stop that from happening. I'm losing a lot of money at this moment. I need to disband a lot of troops. So I'm going to do that. It's going to take them seven months to go back home, but it's not a problem. I need to get an income. This should be enough to deal with those guys. So you should go here. All of you. Kill off those guys. It's because I'm above my vassal limit as well. I, I'm going to create the kingdom of Hungary after I'm done with this war here. I'm not giving up, out everything I need to. Okay. God will judge them. I can't usurp the kingdom. No, I can't. He's fighting a war and I don't have the money I need. He only has two holdings left and he's still fighting this war. Okay, then I need to usurp it. I guess. Can you go and, go and siege this down. And you, you're going to go and kill this army off. You, I can. Yeah, I know I have too many held, held duchies. I need to lose one. Because that penalty deficit I'm going to get from having that duchy is going to be really bad. Haha, <laughs> that's bad. Because I'm losing levy and stuff. And people are disliking me because I have so many hold, held duchies as well. That's a problem. I need, to, I need to win this war. Like, right now. Otherwise, I'm going to have problems. Go there. You go there. Try and catch them. You won't be able to. Okay. This is really bad. I only have 19 months. 15 months. More people are joining in. Because no one likes me at this moment. Because... Too many holding held duchies, offensive wars... It's probably some of those people are... Like I just created some of those guys, I think. Yeah, I did. Because they... Yeah, those guys want the duchy I just created. And I can't create it until I siege, and siege this back. I need to take this back. You... 
Where is their capital? That's the capital of that person. I need to siege that down. Oh yeah, I know. Can I do something about this? He's betrothed. I can't kill her. I need. Re I really need to solve this war. Uh, focused reading. Heresy. Yeah, sure. Having that extra learning is never a bad thing. I do guess. Try and catch those guys. I want to kill them off. I want. I. I, I would like to use a white piece this war to get rid of it. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. You are the siege guy. I really need to win this war. I miss having the assault option you had in CQ2. Because this might fire off. And then we're going to have big problems. And I wouldn't like those big problems that be, be my big problems. I don't like big problems. Again. We have had our share of big problems in this game. I'm quite done with them. How long is this going to take? Five months. You are not the siege guy. I would like you to be a siege guy. I do think I have one. I do. Might slightly speed that up. That's a heresy. We're getting closer and closer. I'm losing levy and levy. That's really bad because that makes the faction stronger and stronger as well. What, as I said, I would just like to white piece this shit. If he's done soon. He's going to be done soon. But, yeah. And then I'm going to give away this duchy. I'm going to lose the problems with that guy. I need to... I'm still at 27 vassals above. That doesn't make sense. I created just a few duchies. It's probably because of those guys. I need to create a kingdom of Hungary as well. Uh, and then we're probably going to be out of problems. At least some of them. Giving away this duchy is going to make some of those guys that was part of the faction to go away. He, he probably doesn't want the duchy of Bihar. Then he won't care about me anymore. Yeah, this is very powerful. 10 months I got. I need to do something about them. I got 10 months. I'm already, I'm already trying to sway him. He hates me. He wants to be on the council, that's the thing. An offensive war, and he decides to Dutch you. Tripolitana. I can't give you Tripolitana. Because someone else has Tripolitana, you idiot. He could be my spy master. Which is extremely risky. She's desperate as well. Is she part of the faction? How strong is she? She's not as strong as the other person. I guess. And I can make him my chancellor. And I'm going to fire her. He likes me slightly. Could make this my chancellor or him. But he's terrible. He could be, um, be my marshal instead. I guess, but that would f upset him. This is going to upset him instead. How much do you? Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Why do you like me? Received kingdom. He's going to love me for a long time. And this for stabilizing the realm. That's the reason I'm doing this. To stabilize the bloody realm. I need to solve this bloody war. White peace, please. No. So they, they're they actually going to force me to siege down their holdings. Otherwise they won't accept the bloody white peace. That's so stupid. They know where they're going to lose. That's the thing. I would run out of this war if I were able to. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay in it. That's so stupid. I'm stitching down their capital. The mat, that might do something. I hope. And I really would like to usurp the Kingdom of Hungary. They're probably going to lose this war. 
shift was they're gonna lose a shift then. But another month, then we're hopefully able to do something about this ransoming prisoners. No one. And there we go. White piece. Get the hell out. Replenish my levy. That doesn't seem right. Do I really have? I have, se I have 75 vassals. That shouldn't be 23 about. 27 about. It should be 15 about. That 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 interface is wrong. That that's wrong. I don't have 87 vassals. That's a lie. I have 75. That doesn't make sense. How can I solve this? I could create the king of Serbia. And give it to this person, Ruska. I guess. That will lose to like two vassals. I could create the king of Bulgaria as well, I guess. That won't really do much. It's a big kingdom as well. Italy. The kingdom of Italy would solve a lot of problems when it comes to vassals. I can't create it though. I need three more counties. Otherwise I won't be able to create it. Hmm. Running out of kingdoms, that's the problem. Croatia. It's so spread out, that's the problem. Probably could create Serbia. Yeah, no, he, st he still exists, that's the problem. I need to create Hungary. And I need the interface to update. Yeah, no, not 27. It's actually lower than that. That's the thing. How is this uprising looking? It's probably going to happen soon. Mental resilience. We're getting closer to healthy and a whole of body, which is going to boost my health a lot. Especially when those bad things go away. I'm feeling fine. But I'm not really feeling that fine. We took Hungary, but we got a